Hey everyone, welcome back to Knowing Nuclear. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the types of nuclear fuel. Very exciting, so we can use these in our nuclear reactors, which produce a ton of electricity, which is great for powering our everyday lives. So, first things first, there are three things that a nuclear fuel must be in order to be eligible to be used in a reactor. First thing, it has to sustain a chain reaction on its own. Second thing, it has to be fissile. We're gonna talk a bit about these two in further videos, so don't worry, stay tuned. The third thing, it has to be accessible to us for mining and extraction, otherwise it won't be economically viable to use it as a fuel. So, if all three of these conditions are met, then we have something that is really great to be used as a nuclear fuel. We have three main fuels, but before I get into that, quick uranium lesson. When we mine uranium straight out of the ground, most of it is uranium-238. Like a lot, like way more than 99%. Most of it is uranium-238. So this is a problem. It's very readily accessible to us, but it's not fissile and can't sustain a chain reaction, which is where the isotopes come in handy. So we have uranium-235 as well. This is the one that we love. It is fissile and it does sustain a chain reaction. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to use only the 235 and still have the 238 present. So back to our three main fuels. The first one that we use all over the world in reactors is natural uranium. When we get these rocks out of the ground, only about 0.7% of it is actually uranium-235. But that's okay. We can still pop it into our reactor. We can still produce electricity, and it's still really, really effective. Second thing, we have enriched uranium. So if we needed to bump up the amount of uranium-235 in our fuel, we can do that through chemical processes. We can actually increase the amount to somewhere between three and 5% uranium-235. So it's really exciting. And the third main fuel that we use is plutonium-239. Now, nuclear reactors all around the world can use these fuels in either a solid form or also in a powder form, and they can pump out a ton of electricity, which is great in our society today. We love, we love energy. 